Shalom, and welcome to another installment of Elders of GMS, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, today's topic is going to be entitled, Books, Documents, Mysteries, and Prophecies. And um, basically, um, we're going to go into uh, some books. I got this book that I got recently that I wanted to do a show on, but I didn't get a chance to. Uh, we want to go into a lot of different, ma mention certain documents that we use, Bible dictionaries and so forth. Um, you know, we might touch on the, ca the calendar. That's a big uh, controversy. Uh, the hot topic is the, uh, you know, whether the, the Sabbath comes on Friday, sundown, or Saturday, sundown, or you count seven days from the new, new, new moon and you have these cycles. Um, oh, also, um, Baloo. Uh, they um, HODC 12 took your camp so they they down there since you haven't gone down there and over what a year year and a half they just went down there and took your shit you know so what you gonna do now they gangsted your shit what you gonna do now you know that shows you ain't right uh, this this um, um, one of the one of the up and coming elders had ran into a mic the ham mic on the train and found out he was all you know, shaved up, you know, but now he's on, since he got caught out there, he's coming on the, uh, pay, on the YouTube comment boards and he's talking, go, going in the scriptures to justify that we don't have to keep the law. So that, so these guys are reprobate, man. That's all they are. They're reprobate. That's all they are. Uh, somebody get me uh, right quick, uh, 2 Corinthians uh, 13 and 5. This is the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and, um, it's going to be uh, verse 5. Just bear with me one second. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves how that Yahweh Shai is in you, except ye be reprobates. So the point is, examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Because this thing is a thing of constant checking, constant looking, constant research. You know, constant uh, um, uh, examining yourself. You know, finding out wh you know where you at. What are you lacking? You know, you know if if you are uh, uh, slacking on something or not. That's a constant uh, examining yourself. You know, going over uh, certain scriptures. You know, going through prophecies. If you keep yourself occupied in the truth, you you know you won't. You know, more than likely, you're not going to go off. Like the scriptures say. Um, it says uh, there can no evil come to him that's always occupied in, in good or something to that effect. You know, so if you're constantly involved in, this, in the scriptures and the truth and the prophecies, you know, you, you, you're, you're going to stay sharp. You know, you're going to, uh, um, as the scriptures say, matter of fact, let me get there real quick before I read on. This is Isaiah chapter 49. Um, Isaiah 49 and 1. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken ye people from far. The Lord hath called me from the womb, from the bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name. And he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword. And you could tell the brothers that study from the brothers that don't study. Because the brothers that study, it shows, you know, by the way they speak, you know, in the way they teach, you know. It says, and he hath made my mouth like a sharp sword in the shadow of his hand hath he hid me. And made me a polished shaft in his quiver hath he hid me. Because we're, we're the, the most high's instruments. You know, we're the most high's swords. You know, we're the most high's uh, lances. You know, spears, daggers, you know. So the Lord, once you study, the Lord uses you, you, uses you puts his spirit in you. And, and, and his words come out of your mouth. And what you have studied, the Lord will use that out there, you know, as, as fire. And as the scriptures call a uh, Bible fire and the people out there as wood you know through the, whatever it be whether it be prophecy prophecies history mysteries you know books documents you know as, as a, a, a part of the title of, of this uh, lesson you know so basically you, you that's the point the point is you got to constantly examine yourself see what happens sometimes in this truth is, is you get to a certain point some guys get to a certain point where they figure that they learn the knowledge and they stop uh, researching they stop studying they stop looking into uh, things because they figure that they got it and what happens that's, that stuff will leak out of you you know so you gotta if you, you constantly putting oil into the, into the vessel it's gonna always be full you know 
So you brothers gotta, you know, you gotta. This is the thing of of of. It's it's a, 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 a like the juggernaut. It's a, a forward motion. You know, everything just keeps going forward and forward. You know, and that's what the scripture means that you you desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. You know, every day your your, your spiritual uh, uh your, your inner man is growing. You know, and then when there's times where where, where you sit down and, and 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 take account of yourself and examine yourself to see you know where you where you're at, what are you lacking? You know, what do you need to uh, uh, strengthen yourself on? You know. Come. Uh, this is the book of uh, Ephesians, chapter four, verse ten. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens. That he might fill all things. And he gave some apostles. And some prophets. And some evangelists. And some pastors and teachers. For the perfecting of the saints. So. Yeah in 11 verse it said. And he gave some apostles. And some prophets. And some evangelists. And some pastors. And some and teachers. For the excuse me, for the perfecting of the saints. In other words, the Most High builds up certain men to do certain things. Some some men do more things than others. So this is about building up that that sainthood. All right. Now I mentioned uh, Hamite Mike and Baloo and uh, other guys. <coughs> What's this guy? Uh, uh, Izar and other guys. Many guys that have, f have fallen out. And they bug out, and you can you can see that they're bugging out. They're losing it, man. They're being carried about of different doctrines. As when you read down, it's going to say that. All right, go ahead, read on. It says, uh, verse, uh, uh, I'm sorry, verse uh, twelve, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Yahushai, which is what the elect. It's not talking about all Israel. It's talking about the elect. It says, um. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahweh Shai, which is what? 100% truth. That's another scripture. To the fullness. So you're building up to the fullness of this thing. So are we going off when we say we have 100% knowledge? No, we're not going off. Uh, verse 14 that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine yeah like the new thing now is they call it the lunar sabbath and whether the sabbath has uh falls on the friday sundown and saturday sundown or whether it's based on the first day second day third day fourth day um it's it's controversial to you not to me not to none of us not to any of the elders, all right? We're not losing sleep over that, man. Whether we got it right or we got it wrong. You clowns are losing sleep over that, man. And we broke it to you. Now, I'm going I'm to lay something on you, brothers, man. <laughs> That's an old saying. I'm going to lay something on you. I'm going to spring something on you. Anyway, um, there's, I'm, I'm instituting a new test. <laughs> and uh, the test is going to be on a uh, second Ezra. You already know I'm gonna, where I'm going. Second Ezra, the 11th chapter and the 12th chapter. Now, it's up to you camp leaders uh, to uh, get your top men together. Your top, you, basically, you're going to set up a research group in your camps, in your respective camps. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to break you're going to break down the two scriptures that I said to break down, the two chapters. So I'm going to say it again, 2nd Ezra, the, the 11th chapter and the 12th chapter, okay? Because if we broke it down, then somebody say, see, you got it wrong to hard. I knew you. Well, look, since you know every goddamn thing, why don't you, everybody knows shit. They know more than what we know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then break it down. Yeah. This is for Nate, because Nate attempted to break it down. And all, and all you other guys that claim you you know the whole the scriptures. Well, none of you really claim that. You haven't put that claim out yeah. of you saying you had a hundred percent knowledge. Well, this this is be sent out to uh, 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 uh Johann, General Johannes men if they can break it down. Okay. Now we had just recently put up uh, videos on uh, 
Daniel the 11 chapter breakdown and I think there's eight parts up already but um, a couple people put in comments I said between part four and five there's something missing so what we got to do is we got to go back whatever's